Resistors allow a circuit designer to control the voltage and or amperage at a particular point in a circuit. They also come with their own language, so let's learn how to read it. In this video, we're going to learn how to read a 4-band resistor. To begin with, you want to find the gold or silver side. That's going to give you your tolerance band, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Once you have that established, we're going to read the colors from left to right. The first band gives us the first digit of our resistor. The second band gives us the second value of our resistor. The third band gives us a multiplier. And then finally, the fourth band gives us the tolerance. In our first example, we have the colors brown, black, black, and gold. The first number, brown, tells us that the first digit of our resistor is a value of one. The second color is black, and it gives us a value of zero. The third number is black, which gives us a multiplier of one ohm. And then finally, gold is giving us a tolerance of plus or minus 5%. When we combine numbers, we get 10 times one, so it gives us 10 ohms and plus or minus 5%. Let's go on to another example. If we take a look at this one, we have purple, white, black, and gold. Purple gives us a value of seven, white gives us a value of nine, and black again is a multiplier of one, with our gold being our tolerance of plus or minus 5%. When we go to add those up, we have a seven, nine, so 79 times one is still gonna give us 79 ohms of resistance plus or minus 5%. In our final example, we have green, red, yellow, and gold. I'm gonna give you a moment to go through and try to get those numbers. For green, our first digit should be five. Our second digit is red, so it should give us a value of two. And then our multiplier is 10K in the yellow spot. So what we do is we take five, two, and we have 52 times 10K. So 52 times 10K is gonna give us 520K ohms, plus or minus 5% for our gold part at the end. And that's all there is to solving color code resistors for four bands. In future videos, we're gonna cover what the tolerances mean, how to calculate them, and also what five band resistors look like. I'll see you then.